violates the principles of the Charter and it causes or will cause if it doesn't stop a level of suffering Europe has not known since at least the Balkanic crisis. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General Pam Falk from CBS News. Is there anything the UN can do to get Russia back to the bargaining table at this point? We can, of course, uh, in my case, appeal. The Security Council is the body that has uh, the powers can, given by the Charter uh, to address this situation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, as you read and you heard in the Security Council chamber, the Russian war started against Ukraine. In fact, the war started in 2014. It's a historical embarrassment to the humanity and to this particular organization that has failed to take the necessary actions in the course of the last eight years. I demanded in the Security Council that Ambassador Nibenzi of Russia relinquish his responsibilities as the chair, as the president of the Security Council, as a representative of a country that egregiously violated the Charter, that he pass his duties to someone in the Security Council who is capable to perform the duties of the President of the Council. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's meeting of the Security Council where an appropriate draft resolution will be put to vote and I call to everyone to vote in favor. The design of the United Nations is very faulty. You can ask an aggressor to abstain from vote at the stage of peaceful resolution under Chapter 6, but you cannot ask aggressor, believe it or not, to abstain from vote under Chapter 7 when the Council deals with the aggression. I have also asked the Secretary General of the United Nations to produce the copies of the decisions of the Security Council and the General Assembly dated 1991 that in accordance with Article 4 of the Charter welcome the desire of the Russian Federation to be a member of this organization. Thank you. Ambassador, you were visibly emotional during this speech. Um, you mentioned the fact that um, most of your speech was obsolete by the time you had the chance to read right. it. Um, what is the message to the world at this moment? As we heard from Russia, the fact that it, an operation, a special operation in Donbas was launched, but we hear that is bombing and explosions in Kyiv, that a special forces from the Black Sea has started to enter um, Ukrainian territory. Um, and, and personally, um, what's your feeling? You have family, you have people in Ukraine right now. Well, it's a war. If we here in New York do not remember what war is, then go to the library and pull out the footage of the war. It means thousands and thousands of people killed, if not millions. And what I want from the world, I want the world to rally, after all, and defend the world from, uh, from, the, from the aggression, from the Russian Federation. 
All right, it's late. We have to digest the information, we have to verify information, and we have to be here in the Security Council tomorrow morning. Ambassador, just last question. Uh, at the end of the speech, the Ambassador of Russia says that this wasn't an aggression against the Ukrainian people, but an, an aggression against those that were in power. Do you believe that this is a, a flat out? Um, you, can't, you can't be serious. Are you serious? You want me to dissect the crazy lunatic semantics? of a person whose president violates the charter, whose president declared the war, and he's playing with words? And you'd ask me to interpret it? It's lunacy. It's lunacy. Absolutely.